Well, hello everyone, Texy88 here and welcome to another retro gaming review. And this time I give you Who Dares Wins 2 for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This is basically a, a run and gun game. And you, you can hear the uh, famous Great Escape theme there. Quite what this has got to do with Who Dares Wins is anyone's guess, but never mind. Now, you might be thinking, Who Dares Wins 2? Was, was there a... Was there a, a first Who Dares Wins? Well, the answer is yes. However, it was it was only released on the Commodore 64 and only very, very briefly. And uh, the, the original Commodore 64 version actually scrolled, whereas, uh, whereas Who Dares Wins 2 is flick screen. Now, there is a pretty good reason for that, which I'll get to in a moment. And... Oh. And what happened was that... Uh, who Dares, the first Who Dares Wins, which was also released by Alligator Software in, 98, in 1985, came out in the, in the shops extremely briefly. And then Elite, uh, Elite who, owned, who had the rights to do coin-op coin conversions of the game Commando, got wind of the, got wind of the game and uh, put a cease and desist order against it before the before the, the game really had a chance to sell all that well. Because um, the problem was that the game was simply far too similar to Commando and uh, and so um, so the, it, um, it got pulled from the shelves. Well, no, now Who Does Wins actually scrolled just like Commando does and it had a lot of other similarities. It, it was basically a blatant rip-off of Commando. So who dares wins two got got tweaked so the so it was not so so blatant a copy and uh, that 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 version was allowed to go ahead and uh, and not only did it did who dares wins two get released on the on the Commodore sixty four but the other formats including the Spectrum version which I'm playing here also got a look in so. <laughs> One thing is quite amusing in this for in this version is when <laughs> when an, an enemy soldier <laughs> throws a grenade, keeps walking in the same direction, and blows himself up. As it, as in command, though, you uh, you can fire in all eight directions, and you can also throw grenades and. There are also moments like this where you can rescue your hostages at gunpoint, but you have to be quick and actually hit. And you have a limited number of grenades, as you can see in the near the bottom middle of the screen, just where, it's, just to the right of where it says uh, says how many lives I've got left. So at the moment I've got four grenades left, and those bo those boxes like the one you see there, that's how that's how you top them up. So the, the gameplay itself is pretty simple. It's um, pretty obvious what you got to do. You just got to kill all the enemies on the screen before advancing to the next one, pretty much. But then this, um, this is still a fairly early um, a, a game from the 1980s, so can't be overly critical for not not being having much in the way of substance. Plays well enough. Oh, by the way, you can't walk in water, it will kill you instantly. So don't even bother trying it. Oh, crocky, that bullet nearly got me. I 
as I said, it plays in, uh, nicely, and it's got a few extra bits and bobs that you didn't get in Commando. But... The sprites are quite colourful as well. Oh, get over here. Thank you. Oh, what? <sighs> oh, God, that was a mistake. Let's do that again. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of colour in this. Well, well, that unfortunately doesn't mean that there's a little bit of clash. I mean, look, there's a little bit of colour clash as you walk past the tree. Well, I walk past the tree trunk, then when the tree trunk turned to the same blue colour that my soldier is. It's good the way the bullets actually stop when they hit a building like that. Oh, I don't have to kill absolutely everyone on the screen except on the last screen of a of, a, of an outpost. But you obviously don't get as many points if you don't kill anyone. Everyone. The graphics are reasonably nice for a game from the mid 1980s. The sounds are. Well, it's a Spectrum 48K, so you're not gonna, it's very unlikely you're going to get mm, get much in the way of, of decent sound effects. So, the, unfortunately, a lot of the sounds are very flatulating. So, you might initially, you, particularly uh, if you're used to more modern games or other systems that have more capable uh, sound possibilities, so you might you might laugh your ass off at some of the sound effects in this. But another. Another thing, of course, makes everyone laugh is when, 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 a, when a person is when a you know, when when an enemy soldier is sort of heading in a direction, throws a grenade, keeps going in the same direction they threw the grenade, and then blows themselves up. A little bit of dark humour, admittedly. But... And uh, unlike Commander, there's no separate button for grenades. Um, so you have to actually, so you have to actually hold down the, hold down the fire button um, for a little bit to throw a grenade. If I did have one compl one complaint graphics wise is that um, quite quite often the sprites are a bit flickery. I mean when you saw that, oh bloody hell! That See look at look how flickery those sprites are when there's a lot in line with each other. That is a bit of a shame, and I, you didn't really get that problem happening with, even with the Spectrum conversion of Commando. I mean, you can still see what's going on. It just it, it just looks a bit naff. Now you you saw that uh, soldier pointing a gun at that uh, man who had his back to the tree. Now, if you if you're quick as I was, then you and you take out the guy holding holding aiming the gun, then you can actually get bonus points for rescuing the hostage. Had I left left it, then that guy would have would have eventually shot him. Oh, blimey! I'm, I'm sure I didn't go in that water. Yeah, a bit of colour clash there when that uh, that man was doing his death throw jiggle. Oh, thought I was going to get both of them at once. Then. Thank you. There's a train farting its way along the line. Ow! Oh! So little room to manoeuvre there, it's really hard to avoid that tank. You've got to be really quick.
go out that plane didn't get that plane is uh, that, that just uh, just strafed just then that's probably one of the most annoying uh, level annoying enemies in the game because it's so easy to get caught out by that unless you know it's there how I'm, I don't actually know how I survived its strafing run because I'm I must have just been extremely lucky. What? Don't know what hit me there. Another thing else, I think in this game, it, you don't die automatically if you touch another soldier, which I, which is definitely not the case in Commander. If you so much as uh, as, uh, no, as uh, touch an enemy soldier with your big toe in Commander, you die. Playable enough game, and then it's kind of fun in short bursts. Oh, I've got no grenades, that's not going to be very good. Another thing, unlike Commando, you can actually, sh as you saw then, you can actually shoot the men in these trenches as long as their heads aren't uh, are popped up. See, when they're down like that, I can't hit them. The bullets just pass home harmlessly over their heads. See, like that. But when they pop up like that, you can get them with your bullets. Whereas in Commando, you had to use grenades to kill them. There was no other way. Oh, oh, darn it, I killed the hostage. Too much of an itchy, too much of an itchy trigger finger there. I don't think the enemies in this necessarily um, primarily aim. Um, 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 oh, gone. Okay, so that. So that's Who Dares Wins 2 for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Fairly fun game, all things considered. Uh, if you enjoyed Commando, then, uh, then you'll, you'll probably enjoy this, although it's not quite, even though it's got more features in it to a certain extent, like all the, um, all the different kinds of, uh, kind of uh, level layouts and, uh, and you know, th th surprises like all those different vehicles, it, it does still get a bit repetitive and it's not quite as visually impressive as Commando on the Spectrum was either. I mean, all, I mean, all, all the, all, all those, um, those replications of the grains of sand when there was yellow may, may initially sound like a good idea, but uh, I actually think it makes it look a little bit tacky. Although it may also have been another thing that helped to make it look a lot, more, a lot less like, com like Commando, and therefore avoid the same legal issues that the ill-fated first Who Dares Wins had, as I mentioned earlier in the video. The uh, graphics aren't as impressive as, the, uh, by and large, aren't as impressive as those in Commando either. There's the, the, uh, the, the grains of sand being visible the way I've just described means that there's also quite a lot of colour clash and it is a little bit unsightly um, sound okay, it's a bit hard to discuss yes it's got a fair bit of sound I mean there's a, a little tick as, as enemies fire bullets And uh, of course, there's there's explosion sound effects that sound like someone's uh, had a massive uh, had a massive cu cu a massive curry and uh, and has <laughs> had to visit the loo, shall we say? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so you know, see those rather farty sound effects whenever there are explosions and. And 
apart from that, the sound isn't much to write home about, but then it is a 48k Spectrum game, so... We, and from what I understand, this, this game virtually filled the entirety of a 48k storage, uh, Spectrum storage space, so they, there, there was obviously a limit in that regard to what they could actually put into the game. It's a, it's a nice enough distraction that's a little bit different from Commando to help it stand out, but it's, its slightly grotty exterior does count against it a little, and it, it's not it's not as slick as Commando in general. See, look at that colour clash when 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 that man was walking along the bridge. Gameplay, it plays really well, although you have to be careful not to hold down the fire button too long if you want to use grenades sparingly, because it, it can be a bit easy to chuck um, chuck far, far too many grenades at once and quickly exhaust your supply. So what am I going to give it? I think I'm going to give this game... Seven out of ten. It's kind of fun in brief bursts. Gets a bit repetitive, and it's as I said, it's not quite as. Good. It doesn't look as good as good as the Spectrum Port of Commando, and it's not quite as slick as that either. And the, the AI of the enemy soldiers isn't isn't as um, isn't it as advanced as it is in the in the Spectrum conversion of Commando either. But there, there are plenty of worse games uh, like uh, like it. So, and it's far from being a disastrous, uh, a disastrously bad game. It's not a bad game, really. It's just, it's just a little bit samey and repetitive, and and as I said, it's grotty exterior and and penchant for flatulating sound effects means that it doesn't quite uh, have the same appeal of Commando. But it's it's still I think it's still worth a look. <laughs> you saw that enemy through the like I mentioned throw a grenade and he kept walking in the same direction so that grenade he just thrown landed on top of it and killed him. So anyway, that's my review of Who Dares Wins Two for the Spectrum now done. Taxi eighty eight out.